it's been a strange couple of weeks for Infinite Warfare in regard to weapon balance. When the VPR first came out, it was a bit on the weak side with a few glitches that made it even weaker than it was supposed to be. Then they buffed it immensely, making it one of the most prevalent weapons in the entire game. It received a huge ammo buff, a nice damage increase, and little to no recoil, making it arguably the best gun in the game. Now, after several complaints on social media, they nerfed the VPR. So how bad was the nerf though? According to the patch notes, they slightly increased recoil, slightly adjusted its range, and also adjusted the reload time. Now there's no definitive numbers available yet, but I hand tested each of these changes and I'll go over my results. So first, the recoil nerf. Again, the patch notes indicate a quote, slight increase to recoil. I've watched a few other bigger YouTubers talk about this, and they all seem to agree that it's barely noticeable. Now I'm sorry, but I disagree heavily with this. Anyone who used the buffed VPR will know that it had virtually no recoil whatsoever. Now however, it kicks up like a mule. It's 100% noticeable. Just to prove I'm not crazy, I'll be showing some before and after clips. So this first clip is the VPR without grip after it was buffed. As you can see, it had virtually no recoil. Next, again, the buffed VPR, but this time with grip. Almost identical, which made the grip next to useless on this. Now let's take a look at the current VPR, after this most recent nerf. Here it is without grip. You can see that it instantly shoots straight up after only a few bullets. Even with a grip, you can see that it still skyrockets straight up, although not quite as much thanks to the grip. So now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left is the buffed VPR with no grip, and on the right is the current VPR. You should be able to tell that there's a huge difference here. And now here's without a grip. Again, the buffed VPR is on the left, and the current VPR is on the right. So for those of you that think the recoil nerf wasn't significant, it certainly was. Next, let's talk about the slight range adjustments. Again, these patch notes are heavily misleading. They basically revamped the entire damage profile on the VPR with this nerf. Before this change, the buffed VPR was a 3 to 4 shot kill and that was it. Now however, it's a 3 to 6 shot kill. Unfortunately though, they neutered the crap out of the 3 and 4 shot kill ranges. So this overview shows you what the kill ranges now look like. You can see that the 3 and 4 shot kill ranges are pretty much wank on the cob, whereas the 5 and 6 shot kill ranges are fairly large. Now instead of looking at such a massive bird's eye view, let me show you some actual in-game distances. So this is the 3 shot kill range. It's almost laughable how small this is. Now here's the 4 shot kill range, which isn't that much further. This is ideal for an SMG engagement. Now here's where the 5 shot kill range ends, and with an SMG, you'll likely want to avoid such engagements. Now finally, the 6 shot kill range is everything further. I tried as far as I could manage and it still remains 6 shots to kill. The old VPR could still kill at 4 bullets at this range remember, so this is a huge blow to the gun. Now as for the reload times, they've definitely gone back and forth on this. First they were too slow, then they made them too fast, and now they changed them back almost to where they were to begin with. So the normal reload time was increased from 2.35 to 2.6 seconds, and the add time reload was increased from 1.57 to 1.85 seconds. Now lastly, the patch notes say they fixed an oversight on clip size versus shots available. So if you weren't aware, the VPR fires two bullets each pull of the trigger, but the clip only goes down by one. Oddly enough, I didn't find any difference in this. Based on my own testing, each pull of the trigger still only takes one bullet, despite two actually being shot. Now on my last video, I had quite a few people comment and tell me that this wasn't true and I assure you it is. But to prove it, let me just show you here. My friend and fellow YouTuber A Man Named Star, a link to his channel in the description by the way, stood in barrel stuffing range and died in exactly 3 shots. So despite my bullet count only going down by 3, you can clearly see in the kill cam that it says 6 bullets were used to kill. This proves that 2 bullets come out with each shot fired. So I don't know if they messed up the patch notes in this regard or not. But what they actually did is nerf the ammo count on the VPR. After the recent buff, the starting clip could exceed even 100 bullets, which was insane for an SMG. Now however, the starting clip contains a mere 36 bullets. With extended mags, this goes up to 54, 
which is still a very hefty amount for an SMG. Now if you have the Sting variant, you'll start with 43 bullets, and with extended mags, this goes up to a whopping 64. So 64 bullets is the highest the VPR can achieve now, which is nowhere near the 108 that it used to offer at maximum. So there you have it. Those were the details on what the current nerf did to the VPR. I've seen mixed reactions from the community after this update. Some say they went too far, whereas others say they still didn't go far enough. If you ask me, I'd say it's ideal where it's at right now. They eliminated all the non-SMG-like traits that it possessed, which is why it was almost too good of a weapon before. It no longer can dominate at long ranges, it no longer has an LMG-like ammo capacity, and it no longer shoots with assault rifle-like accuracy. That's not to say it's a horrible weapon now, because it's not. It still possesses a three-shot kill range, which only one other SMG is capable of, and it still has a massive clip size. Basically, if you want to try to achieve the glory days of the VPR, you need to run a grip to counter the recoil, extended mags to avoid reloading often, and dexterity to speed that reload up. Even then, the addition of a five and a massive six-shot kill range will leave you wanting more at longer ranges. After having a taste of that buffed version, falling back to its current state may have you looking for something better, which I think was the point of this update. I played a good 15 matches earlier today and hardly saw anyone using it, so it looks like the developers did their part in nerfing it appropriately. Let me know in the comments if you agree with the changes or if you think they took it a bit too far. Upon using it myself, I didn't have many issues with it after this nerf, although those mid to long range engagements were noticeably worse. That six shot kill range creeps up a lot more often than one would expect. So what once was considered the most overpowered gun in Call of Duty history is now a mere shell of its former self.